Good evening. Two men are in police custody this evening after a man was shot in a clash between two groups of men in Hells Owen. The man was taken to hospital with a leg injury after the incident on Nimmings Road in the early hours of yesterday morning. The road was closed while a thorough search of the area was carried out. No firearm was recovered and the road has now reopened. A woman has died in a house fire in Birmingham. Emergency services were called to the fire on Britford Close in Kings Heath just before 11 yesterday evening. The woman was pronounced dead at the scene. The cause has been confirmed as a severe kitchen fire. One man has died and two others have been seriously injured in a two-car collision in Stoke-on-Trent. Emergency services were called to the scene on the A500 at the junction of Etruria Road in Hanley at 10 to 12 last night. The driver of one of the cars was pronounced dead at the scene. A 30-year-old woman who was a passenger was taken to Royal Stoke Hospital with serious injuries to her abdomen. Another man, believed to be in his 20s, suffered a head injury and a fractured leg. People are being urged to think carefully before dialing 999 after one of the busiest days of the year for ambulance crews in the region. West Midlands Ambulance Service responded to 3,500 calls yesterday, making it the fourth busiest day for the service on record. It meant call numbers rose to levels only previously seen on New Year's Eve. And that's the news. Now time for a look at this weekend's football. ITV Central Sports Report, sponsored by WeWantAnyCar.com, the Cash for Cars website. And West Brom picked up a much-needed win against local rivals Aston Villa, thanks to Craig Gardner's goal against his former club. It's at the Hawthorns that Joe Lobo begins our football roundup. Aston Villa manager Paul Lambert may not have appreciated West Brom's Craig Gardner, saying they're not the Midlands' biggest club. If that didn't spice up this contest, Kieran Richardson's challenge sure did, as Villa were reduced to 10 men. West Brom capitalised and it was that man Gardner who rubbed salt into the wounds of his former club from close range. Alan Irving seemed to enjoy that goal. Christian Benteke should have equalised late, but West Brom held on for their first win in six games. Stoke City had given themselves breathing space from the relegation zone after last week's win over Arsenal but they fell behind early against Crystal Palace thanks to James MacArthur. Stoke was soon level though as Peter Crouch scored one of the easier goals in his career. The point sees Stoke move above Villa to 11th. How times have changed at St Andrews since Gary Rowett took charge. 18-year-old Damari Gray strike followed Paul Caddis's fourth minute free kick. Reading pulled one back but Gray added two more in the first half, including this strike to complete his hat-trick. Andrew Shinney's low shot just after half-time settled the contest, but there was still time for David Coswell to add a sixth goal for Birmingham. Wolves defender Richard Stearman seemed to be getting in the Christmas spirit as he nearly gifted Sheffield Wednesday a goal. Luckily, he made up for his error by clearing Stevie May's shot. With five defeats in a row, Wolves were badly in need of a win, and they got it. Substitute Leon Clark side-footing home to break that losing streak. Walsall went behind early when Barnsley's Lewin Nyatanga headed in from a corner. But how about this for an equaliser? Jordan Cook's half volley rocketing into the net. Minutes later, Tom Bradshaw showed some nifty footwork to give Walsall the lead. And the home side sealed it late on with Cook second. That's six unbeaten now for Walsall. Coventry City took a second half lead against Port Vale thanks to Raider Johnson's header. That's five league goals for him this season. Not bad for a defender. In the final minutes, Coventry secured the three points as Gary Medin pounced on the rebound. The win sees Coventry move four points clear of the drop. And now it's time for a look at the weather forecast. Here's Manali Luca. Wishing you a warm winter. Gas Central Heating for more than gas heating. Sponsors the ITV Local Weather. 
Hello there. Outbreaks of rain this evening will clear overnight tonight, giving us a pretty decent start to the new working week. Mostly dry with some sunshine to enjoy. So rain this evening, as I mentioned, will clear overnight tonight, with the exception of the odd isolated shower. On the whole, it's dry. Fairly cloudy skies, but some clear breaks in the cloud too. I think there's going to be enough of a breeze tonight to ensure that for most of us it will be frost free. And then for tomorrow morning, not a bad start to the day. Again, the odd isolated shower can't be ruled out mainly to the far north and west but on the whole it's dry fine some decent spells of sunshine developing through the course of the morning the winds are going to be light and little change into the afternoon dry with sunny spells and temperatures reaching highs of six or seven degrees celsius then on tuesday starting off not too badly at all a ridge of high pressure in charge but out in the wings we've got this weather front to push in off the atlantic so outbreaks of rain across western parts initially that rain then spreading eastwards through the course of the day so be Beyond that, the rain clearing through on Wednesday, brighter skies developing but turning windy and wet by Thursday. Gas Central Heating from Northern Gas Heating sponsors the ITV local weather. And that's it from us. We'll be back during Good Morning Britain tomorrow morning from 6.30. You can get more details on our stories by heading to the website and that's at itv.com slash central. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.